this year Adrian and I wanted to try something fun and make each other's costumes but if you saw our social media posts on Halloween you would know that we weren't able to actually meet up. I didn't know what to make Adrian so I did a spinner wheel with monsters or characters and then like different type of adjectives and I got techno fairy. Now if I had all the time and the money in the world I have would have made an amazing costume. I saw some really great ideas on Pinterest but as mentioned before I was working on a music video, editing Navajo Tea Time episodes and our other contracted work. So basically the costume was going to be made up of uh, a top that I sewed out of kind of like a stretchy, almost spandexy material that I had left over from a previous project. And that was really fun to work with. It kept rolling up and trying to curl in on each other and make fairy wings. So I wanted to make the top so that I could attach the fairy wings on them and I went to Pinterest like I said and looked up techno kind of just like the aesthetic and trying to figure out different colors and shapes and uh, elements to add into the costume and so that's why there's these bright fancy colors in the shirt and for the wings is where I really wanted the costume to shine literally with like those little fairy lights that you can buy um, <laughs> so for the wings I had uh, sticky vinyl crafting wire iridescent cellophane and fairy lights and if I was going to make these wings again I would have definitely used a thicker gauge wire and I would have flipped what I did with the vinyl. So with the vinyl I had my Cricut cut out these really cool shapes and then put the shapes on the cellophane but if I was going to do this again I would have so that the lines were the vinyl and the cellophane showed the shapes underneath if you know what I mean. So like instead of the shape it would have been like the weird little cutout that was left over from the shape. <laughs> And while I was finishing up the top, I got a message from Adrienne saying that she wasn't able to meet up and we probably won't be able to exchange costumes. And because the top was specifically designed for Adrienne, like her body shape and the sizes, it didn't fit me because I'm taller than Adrienne. And so <laughs> it wouldn't fit me correctly. And so I just put my whole focus into the fairy wings so that I would have a costume and like I could just throw something really quickly together and put the wings on. Once I finished the wings I realized that the wire wasn't strong enough to hold them up like traditional fairy wings and I'm like ah this is kind of annoying but it was like literally 10 minutes before we were supposed to go out trick-or-treating so I'm like you know what we'll have them folded down and I was looking at them folded down kind of like resting wings I'm like oh this reminds me of that movie Thumbelina where there's that beetle who dresses her up and so I'm like, I'll do that I'll be like the Thumbelina beetle I'm definitely more crafty than I am sewing so I felt more confident in making the wings than I did in making the top. Yeah so that was me and Adrian trying to make each other's costumes but ending up making um, costumes for ourselves. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and watch all the other videos in Vlogmas and every Sunday this month we're going to be going live and you'll be able to enter in a giveaway if you follow the prompts for the question. So yeah, thanks everybody.
everyone. Happy Vlogmas.